Ok. Alors, je vais commencer en français et après je passe à l'anglais. Donc, euh, euh, d'abord, euh, euh, bonjour à tout le monde, bonjour à toute euh, la communauté de la presse qui nous accompagne. Vous savez que euh, votre travail pour nous est extrêmement important. Donc, euh, encore une fois, nous commençons et nous espérons d'établir de, de un bon esprit de coopération comme toujours avec vous. On vous remercie euh, de votre patience d'abord parce que vous savez que comme toujours, euh, euh, parfois il faut attendre longtemps pour voir euh, euh, de, de petits pas et c'est une négociation extrêmement difficile. Donc euh, on va essayer de, de continuer euh, notre travail. Mais cette fois, je peux vous dire que euh, l'objectif des Nations Unies, c'est de vraiment euh, entamer aujourd'hui euh, le moment décisif. Euh, les partis ont étudié euh, le document qu'on les a envoyé, le document qui devrait euh, être euh, l'essence le, d'un document déjà final, d'un accord euh, final. Et nous espérons avoir aujourd'hui un premier contact avec elle, euh, avoir les premiers commentaires et on va travailler avec elle, euh, avec euh, de, de différentes euh, propositions euh, des Nations Unies jusqu'au moment où on a un document qui semble à peu près, euh, si je peux le dire comme ça, le document définitif. Les partis devront encore retourner, discuter chez eux, mais nous espérons terminer, s'approcher à ce qui sera finalement le maximum que les partis pourront atteindre de la communauté internationale. And now allow me to pass to English. Um, Hello to everybody, hello to all the journalists. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure to see you again. And uh, as in previous occasions, uh, we are looking forward to working with you uh, in a good spirit of cooperation. Uh, thanks for your patience. Uh, thanks for being ready to spend uh, some time with us. Uh, as in previous occasions, uh, we are expecting this to be a long uh, uh, days and long weeks maybe uh, uh, working with the parties because what we are trying to do the main goal of this uh, uh, round that we start today is to uh, agree with uh, all the participants on what could be a final document uh, the parties should be aware that we will try to uh, achieve the maximum they can get and that after this round of talks it would be very difficult to get more than that. So if we uh, reach a point in which uh, they accept the document, fine, it means that uh, they will uh, have gotten what they uh, expect or most of what they expect and um, I would like to start today uh, calling the parties uh, to be flexible, to be generous, to be ready to make concessions. Um, they uh, will negotiate seriously, they will come with a lot of ideas, a lot of proposals, a lot of remarks, but they cannot get everything, that's, that's obvious. Uh, uh, or we can also reach the point in which uh, they think that it's not enough and it's uh, uh, better to continue in the situation Libya is today. I hope this will not be the case. I hope uh, because the mood has changed in Libya, because the parties are realistic, because uh, uh, they have expressed uh, uh, their uh, view that uh, the ideas the United Nations is proposing uh, uh, are good ideas, are a good basis for discussion. So uh, let's start today with a positive view. Let me also tell you that uh, the United Nations uh, condemns in the strongest terms the airstrikes uh, that uh, happened this morning in Maitiga airport. Uh, we have had airstrikes before in Maitiga. We have seen uh, negative messages towards this dialogue, but we had never seen airstrikes in the moment in which 
one of the delegations is taking off uh, in its way to uh, the talks. It is an extremely negative move and uh, uh, I'm not going to say only that this is unacceptable. Of course it is unacceptable, but uh, uh, we hope that there will be uh, an investigation on who's behind this attack and uh, we hope that an explanation will, give, will be given to the international community. I have heard today many international actors reacting in the strongest possible terms. Nobody can accept the continuation of war. Nobody can accept violence and aggressions in a moment in which the international community is promoting peace talks and dialogue. But much more than that, nobody can accept that there is airstrikes in a moment in which one of the delegations is taking off coming to the dialogue. This is another evidence of where Libya is today. We have seen this week allegations that uh, 400 people might uh, have died leaving Libya in their way to Italy. It's a terrible drama. It adds to what we have seen in the recent months. We have seen bombs against the Moroccan embassy, against the Korean embassy. We have seen more terrorist actions in other areas in the country. This is Libya today. Terrorism, no control in their borders, people dying every day in the Mediterranean, airstrikes, more fighting. It cannot go on. It simply cannot go on. The patience of the Libyans is finished and the patience of the international community is finished. So I really hope that uh, the negotiators uh, that are coming today are coming also understanding that uh, we cannot wait anymore and that uh, this will be uh, the, really the final round uh, where we will agree on this document and we will agree on uh, uh, the main elements for the new unity government, including, of course, uh, the names. We will continue to work in the other tracks, in the other negotiations uh, uh, and other working groups. Uh, we are planning to meet uh, in the coming days uh, the army groups. Uh, as I told you last time we met, it is a very important track. It, it is uh, uh, very important uh, uh, to listen to them, to explain what we are doing, because there won't be uh, uh, a final solution for Libya if uh, uh, the armed groups are not involved. And we are equally uh, working with Egypt uh, uh, to prepare the uh, meeting of uh, uh, the tribes, uh, which is also uh, a very important track. Let me say, uh, we have already announced that publicly, but uh, for those of you uh, who are not following every day uh, the uh, Libyan process, uh, let me say that we have also agreed to uh, have uh, to add a new track, if I can say so, uh, with women. So uh, we will have a, a meeting uh, because the contribution of women to every track has been really precious. They have uh, provided excellent advice, excellent ideas and initiatives and uh, we will organize a, a specific meeting uh, with uh, Libyan uh, women uh, in the coming days. Finally, as always, thanks to His Majesty, uh, thanks to uh, the Kingdom of Morocco, uh, to all the team here that makes uh, uh, this possible, that makes uh, uh, your life uh, easier. Uh, once again, I'm sure we will have all their support uh, for uh, what I expect to be successful talks. Uh, and now I will answer a couple of questions. Uh, we have to start, so please only one or two questions. Yes? Si os parece, contesto un par de preguntas y ahora hacemos algo. Yes. Yes. We expect to reach this by the end of this round. Yes. We expect by the end of this round to have the final version of the best 
both parties can get and to have uh, uh, also uh, a serious discussion on what the names uh, could be. As I always uh, tell you, this is not a forum where we take decisions. We are here to discuss and to make proposals. The parties, the participants, will go back to their constituencies, they will uh, assess whether this is good enough for them to agree on, the, uh, uh, on this agreement, on, the, on this proposal, and then they will come back. Uh. Yes. Bon, il y a deux éléments. Le premier, c'est la discussion sur le document final. Le document final, euh, comme euh, je le dis, euh, aura le maximum que le parti peut espérer euh, l'une de l'autre. Donc, euh, vous, comme vous le savez, il y a euh, quatre éléments euh, qui sont le plus important dans ce document. D'abord, le gouvernement d'unité nationale. Et aussi, et nous espérons pouvoir euh, discuter avec les partis sur euh, le nom de, de ce gouvernement d'unité nationale. Les arrangements de sécurité et les principes euh, de cette nouvelle euh, étape, de cette nouvelle transition, euh, si vous voulez, et, et également le garantie, garantie de l'accord, garantie internationale. Euh, ce sont les éléments les plus importants. Ce n'est pas tout, hein. ça c'est un document sur la première phase de la négociation. Il y a d'autres éléments à négocier ultérieurement, On, euh, le Conseil national de sécurité et d'autres institutions qui seront aussi euh, inclus dans la deuxième phase de la négociation. Donc, euh, euh, nous espérons l'accord sur ce document ou au moins que le parti euh, comprenne que c'est le maximum qu'ils qu peuvent avoir. Et aussi la discussion sur les noms euh, qui pourraient faire partie de ce gouvernement d'unité nationale. S'il vous plaît, est-ce qu'il y a des, des modifications vis-à-vis -vis de votre préposition, notamment le Parlement la deuxième, la deuxième question, est-ce que vous avez entendu il y a, d'après les informations que nous avons, parce que nous allons commencer maintenant et nous allons rencontrer les partis, mais d'après nos informations, il y a pas mal de commentaires. Euh, euh, J'espère que rien que n'affecte le sens euh, de ces documents. Mais c'est des documents longs, c'est des documents euh, complexes, euh, comme, comme euh, tout document juridique, politique, et il s'agit de surmonter une crise très difficile pour, pour la Libye. Évidemment, nous espérons pas mal de commentaires, mais j'insiste, rien qui n'affecte vraiment l'essence de ce qu'on a, on a proposé. Et on va discuter avec eux, on va travailler dans de nouvelles propositions, qu'on va continuer à échanger avec les partis jusqu'au point où on considère que, que c'est le maximum qu'ils peuvent obtenir. Sorry, but we have to start uh, now. I will say something in, in Spanish uh, uh, and, and then we have to start. But no, because you, you, said, you said this round is decisive. So the process of this summit is decisive. Can, they, they, they have to start make, making concessions. If not, they may say, you said, this is not enough. So what would happen next? Is it, as I always say, let's, let's focus on, on uh, what we expect uh, we will get. First of all, the parties, uh, the participants uh, have insisted that uh, they consider uh, the ideas um, uh, proposed by the United Nations as uh, a good basis for discussion. This is one important element. Second, we are working on uh, Libyan ideas, so the United Nations is not here uh, bringing something out of the blue. These ideas are mainly coming from the Libyans. Some of them uh, have been adapted, uh, have been uh, slightly transformed, but the essence of these ideas are coming from, from the Libyans. The United Nations is proposing something that we believe 
should be acceptable for both sides. So let us focus for the moment in, in uh, this possibility. Uh, let us uh, bring also a realistic picture of, of uh, uh, what the parties can get through negotiations and what will be their reality in case there is no agreement. And we know, I have described just some elements. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, is it going to be so bad that uh, continuing in the situation they are today will be better? I don't think so. I don't think so.